is there a anti-white feeling in America? I just want to know, is that a feeling that people have? Not to say that it's a true fact that is happening, but just a feeling that we we are going against white America, meaning the race. What do you think? Well, if you believe in the phrase of white privilege and things of that nature, I would say it could be. But as individuals and individually thinking, um, what we see today from the news media, what they perpetuate for everybody else is the white man is still holding everybody down. <laughs> yes. The feet on yes. the neck. Yes. I, I agree with that statement. But Kane... But Kane, cutting to the chase, cutting to the chase, I would say we as black people, any other minority I can't speak to, but we do a lot of holding ourselves back. Look at our communities. And then the naysayers will say, well, you know, uh, you put a lot of impoverished people in the same uh, community, the ghettos, they don't have any means to get out. It's 2024. It's so many different ways. If you search, if you really want it, you know, parents, if you want to do it for your kids and yourself to try to come up and get out of your situation. So I agree. Um, I agree. Definitely. Is there is there different, you know, individual basis of racism at different times yes it's still things that happen mm -hmm. but to say that um, collectively collectively thank you mm -hmm. that is happening all the time i will say no and i wish we had a you know uh, a caucasian person that could talk to the effect of do they think it's anti-white. Yeah, uh, that would be great. You know, that would be great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some Some congregation, especially oh, no. if you if you fit the description uh, from your boy Mitch. Let us know how you feel about this. How, how do you really how do you feel? really feel about this? Is, is there an anti-white feeling? Like we everything is against the white man or the white woman or the you know what I mean? Like is is it out there and and. Uh, collectively, I mean, e even through all the races, everybody's against it because I see it different in different ways, man. I see it in the media, just like you mentioned. I see it, you know, like in even in news stories, you'll hear the um, the, the, the different news stories, and if it's a uh, <laughs> uh, if it's a white male, hey, look, look, if it's a white male, they're gonna plaster the face up there, and they're gonna say it's a white male. But if it's anything else, any other ethnicity. We, we have to look at the screen because you ain't going to be able to listen and know. They won't do that. Why do they do that? Is that perpetuating that that's um, that the white man is the one, quote unquote, bringing everybody down or the violent one? You know what I mean? Do you feel yeah. like that is the case? You know, congregation, do y'all feel that that's the case? That that I mean, we can have civilized conversation and everything and we don't have to be nasty about it. But however, do you feel like that's the case? Because I know that people say that there is a privilege somewhere. They somebody has a privilege and they're saying that there is a such thing as white privilege. Well, to bounce back on that, I mean, just to be the devil's advocate, there's black. Go privilege, ahead. Man, right. There's black privilege. Right. Especially if you're doing right. uh, diversity, equity and inclusion. Right. So you know that that's a big thing, DEI, right? So wouldn't that be a privilege to be a certain ethnicity? You know what I'm saying? So would it be, collectively, would it be an anti-white uh, community of in, in America, should I say, that's up against that? You know what I mean? 
Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I, Oh yeah. So that that's that's what that's what I feel about it, you know. It's 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 so strange how people will really point the fingers at everybody else for their downfalls, but however they won't point the finger at themselves for not taking that leap of faith. But why not, you know, uh doing that research just like you mentioned. Doing that research. Well, Kane, I will say this. One thing uh people will say and people have said mm -hmm. in conversation is that um the white race has always been in pretty much total control of everything that's been going on from laws being passed to you know let's say to back in the day you know if we want to go all the way back freeing the slaves and then um fair and equal treatment civil rights and everything well, well don't you so think, always had a hand yeah I in that well, well don't, the you think they have, process. don't you think they should have that hand if they the majority if they are the majority you i understand that that's what that's the main thing right now they want to right. do diversity equity and inclusion they want to include everybody right but if at that particular moment in time they there are more majority of caucasian than there are of Hispanic and or Latino and, and black and Asian. Well, who's going to make the laws? Who's going to make the laws? Right, right, right. It goes with the majority, right? Right. Now, I, I understand people will look back and be like, well, they did these laws and they made these bad decisions or whatever. I get it. I get it. They, You may think that they made some bad decisions back in the day, but however... 2024, just like you mentioned, is it still there? Go ahead. Is it still Come there? On. It, are we still getting the shorthand on the stick? I guarantee we're going to get something in the comments that's going to say, nah, uh, uh, black people, we get the short end of the stick because of X, Y, and Z. They will say that. They, w I, I guarantee you. Now, I'm, I'm ready to, you know, a uh, uh, comment back to it or whatever. So I, definitely let us know. Go ahead, bro. But, gang, it's not a black owner of a professional uh, <laughs> football team yeah. or basketball team. Come on now. That's the, that's the, that to me, that's the craziest thing to sit here and compare yourself and saying that there needs to be a black thing, black person in every, everything, meaning they have been shut out. That's they're insinuating that they've been shut out of all these different opportunities because of their skin color. Do you think that that's, that's a thing right now? Do you think in 2024 in America, that's the thing? Everybody's getting shut out because of their skin color. Or do you think opportunities are opening up? Because that's all I see. I, and I'm surprised that, you know, maybe white folks would be like, look, make it, make it even. I wasn't back then. I wasn't a part of that crowd. But make it right. even. Make it even. If we need to uh, uh, join, um, I know, get accepted to, a, a school or something like that. You know what Don't I mean? Don't you say that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just, we'll, we'll just say a school, just a, a college. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if that's the case, then let it be an equal playing field. I know we talk right. about equity and equality and all that other stuff or whatever, but it's still, you, you put your things to the table, they put theirs to the table, and then we match it up and then we make the, the right decision for the right position. That's how I see it. But I know that people will say, because they didn't get it, it was because of my skin tone. Why would you think that? Why would, Why is that the first thing that comes to your mind? Is, are you programmed to think that? Is that the first thing you think about? Or do you think that you could have done something different in, in your approach? And if you had done something different, maybe you would have got it. Or maybe that's not for you. Have you ever thought Come about on. that? Thank you. Thank you. Look, and I, I have to jump in right here. Go ahead. Now, saying on the job, because you have a, a, a personal story, testimony. Yeah. Okay, on the job, you've been passed over yes. multiple times yes. for that promotion. They even hired someone outside of maybe your service line where you work, mm -hmm. and that person didn't stay. Now, they want you to train the person who hired over you. Mm -hmm. But you said, is it because I'm black? Maybe you might need to find somewhere else yep. to go. 
yeah. that appreciates you. Because why would you want to be in a situation point. like that? Even if you thought that that was the circumstance, then distance yourself from that circumstance. You know what I'm saying? Why not do that versus uh, sit here and, and wave this flag saying, you know, this, this, hey, I'm being, you know, uh, uh, misappropriated. They're not, they not looking at me. they not, you know what I mean? Like, why would you go yeah. that route? Because a lot of people do that. They will go yes. that route. But Kane, going back yeah. to the original, yeah. let me ask you this question. Yeah. Do you think white America is being treated or starting to be treated unfairly? Yes, I do. I do. I do. I, I really do. I, I really do. If you if you look back at it and some some white people have gotten on the bandwagon of saying that they are uh should be mistreated. He's like, well, yeah, my ancestors did, blah, 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 mm-hmm. or whatever. So I should be mistreated or be less than of or whatever. No, no, no. 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 Why? Why would you even think something like that? Because mm-hmm. to e- even if, l- let's say something uh, dramatic or something drastic happened in mm-hmm. my family and my great granddaddy did something, but was a serial killer. So d- does that make me part of his what he done? No. Just because no. he did that, just because he did that, doesn't mean anything about me. Same thing that goes with when we're talking about the uh, um, Caucasians and whites, right? Same thing. Right. Even if they, if they if they found out, it probably didn't happen, but if they found out that something happened or they owned that they, they great, great, great grandfather owned whatever plantation and had slaves, whatever. Let's say it did happen. That has nothing to do with you. You don't own well, anything. You know what I'm right. saying? And just because they did have that, who, who's, who's to say that it was left in the family? Somebody may have messed something up in one generation, and then you have to start it all over. Are you still at fault? You see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Yeah. I see what you're saying on that. Yeah. But then they will say, you know, and then I'm trying to go through all these different scenarios, mm-hmm. what people come back with. Well, the 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 wealth gap, you know, say it was a Caucasian family and their family uh, made money and it was generation after generation, mm-hmm. you know, and that's an unfair advantage that they had. And still have to this but, day, but that's not. You're it's not everywhere, up. though. I know it's not. I, everywhere. I can see if the whole the United States of America was just slaves everywhere, from right. from, from Maine to doggone California. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I can see if that was the case. Like everywhere you go, there were slaves everywhere, everywhere. But no, that was a a, a section off area that actually did that. That could afford it because everybody couldn't afford it. And there were black people that had slaves. So what, what do you say about them? What if you did your ancestry.com and then you found out that you was a part of that? Like, hey. you were, like your, your uh, great, 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 great granddaddy owned slaves. Now, how would you feel about that? Would you hold your hand out for reparations? Like, what? Just because you're black, that means. Because uh, hey. <laughs> it, it, hey. it's true, though. Look it up. I yeah, know, hey, that is up. true. Unfortunately, that is true. Yeah. So how can you? It even, is true. How can you even say that? I know that there, uh, there's a lot of different things going around as far as in, um, man, what was I can't think of the the view cool. and Whoopi Goldberg and what she was saying yeah, about view. different, you know, white America and things of that nature. When you hear, I'm, and I'm thinking like, well, if you know your heritage, not everybody else knows theirs. So you don't know the person that you can be standing right across. You don't know how they got here. If they, you know, even though they may have been born here, but you don't know how their ancestry. You don't know their makeup. You don't right. know how they, you know, they may they may be right. second generation here. You just never know. So it never happened to them. But you just you just look at their skin tone and then you just automatically anti-white. That's what I, I feel like. That's what's happening in America. It's just anti-white. Why? Wow. Cain and congregation, I have to say this, and uh, mm-hmm. they might get on me for this. Um, when I hear the phrase, and I think I heard this the other day with uh, old 
uh-huh. when he was uh, interviewing Amanda Seals. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When saying that black people, I'm black, I can't be racist. <laughs> That statement to me, I just as that to me, I can't believe ridiculous. people would actually believe that. Mm-hmm. I can't believe it. We can, people can be unfair to whoever. Yeah. It doesn't matter what yes. nationality. Yes. Forget what happened. Not not forget what happened to black people in the past, but black people can be racist towards each other, yep. towards anybody. Anybody yeah. can yes. be racist. So yeah. that is an un- it's not an intelligent thing to say, and I cannot believe people actually believe that statement. Yeah, some people do, man. I mean, because there's a lot of prominent, um, there's a lot of prominent black people in America that make money, own business, things of that nature, and there's and they are very easy to discriminate and to be racist towards other ethnic groups. They can, right? And and, and I'm not even going to limit it to people who have money. You still can do that. Come on, now. you know. I mean, you can yes. be like, man, I don't want to. I don't want uh, another black person or a uh, uh, Asian person sitting next to me on the bus. Isn't that racist? Isn't that racist? And you ain't got a dime. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? So, man, whatever. That's that's how I feel. Congregation, let us know. Hey, hey, look, especially if you made it this far, give us a thumbs up or whatever, man. But let us know. Subscribe to the channel. But let us know. How y'all feel about this? I, be I really want to know. Be truthful. Yes, in be the truthful. comments. That's all. And we respond to them. Definitely, we'll respond, and we'll keep the conversation going because what we do is we'll just, you know, uh, poll you. We'll ask you a question. We'll answer your question. But however, we'll we'll ask you a question about, you know, the uh, your thoughts or whatever. So yeah, come join us, man, in this conversation, man, because it's very interesting. And do you feel like it's an anti-white America? What, what what you got? What, what's your final thoughts, bro? Oh, that's it. I mean, we got it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we we hit it enough to invoke thought. That's all. In conversation. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. Yeah. That's, all I'm, that's all we're striving for, baby. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, Roger hey, that. hey, look, that's the uncomfortable truth. Hey, let's go, Arkansas and Alabama, Alabama and Arkansas, baby. Smash the likes <laughs> for sure. Do so. You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them, all of them. 